Hey guys, so today is meal prepping day and I wanted to share with y'all what I'm doing for hard boiled eggs. Um, if you've followed me for a while, you've probably seen me talk in the past about how I do hard boiled eggs on the stove top. And now I have finally found a method with the Instant Pot that has worked good. I've tried it um, the last couple weeks since I got the Instant Pot right after Christmas. And I was kind of trying to tweak the method because I kept kind of messing it up and making the, the yolk uh, too done and kind of gray on the outside. So there we go. Okay. So let's see if the video will do it in this direction without disconnecting. Um, okay. So what I'm used to doing is... Um, uh, on the, I was saying on the Instant Pot, I was overdoing the egg yolk. Hey, Maggie. So um, I finally found a method today that worked good, and the shell just kind of peeled right off. But um, if you're not familiar with the method that I use on the stovetop, what I was um, doing before was I would take an egg and take a little thumbtack and then poke it through the end of the egg and then put it in, heart, in uh, fast boiling water and then let it boil for 11 to 12 minutes. Take it out and immediately put it in ice water in a bowl. And then just letting that cool, no specific time, just letting that cool, take that out and the shell comes off really easily. So that's my stovetop method. But what I found with the Instant Pot, I bought uh, these little, these are little racks that go inside the Instant Pot um, for eggs. So the egg sits on it like that. Um, but the Instant Pot, when you buy it, will come with a little trivet thing like this. And so you can just put this inside the Instant Pot and just pile your eggs up on top of it. They can be, they can be touching, they can be on top of each other. But I, um, I didn't know that when I <laughs> bought this little stand for the eggs, but it worked real good today. Let me show you. If you're not familiar with the Instant Pot... Let me show you if I flip this around, if I can do that. Okay, so this is the Instant Pot. So these go inside the Instant Pot like that. Before you, before you put the eggs on it, it's best to put that in the Instant Pot and get it on there. And then um, you put a cup of water inside. And then when you put the lid on, it's going to automatically come on and you can do the egg setting this one or you can do the steam setting I did the egg setting and I did five minutes so it turns on and it starts heating up and you have to make sure that you also have this valve closed um, for the steam but I'm going to cancel that so it doesn't start doing its thing okay so Flip it back over here. Okay, so you do the five minutes of the uh, the steam or the egg setting, and then um, after that, it'll turn off at five minutes. You can leave it on the keep warm mode, but I just had it to where it turned off after five minutes, and then I timed for five minutes, just letting it sit there. And then after um, five minutes, the mistake I made in the past was I lost track of time and I didn't stop it after the five minutes of just sitting there. So it's important to, that you time that, but time it to stop after five minutes and then you do the, natu the natural, or you do the quick pressure release. So this one keeps the pressure up and then you do, do the valve that way and it will release the pressure. Then you immediately take it out, take the eggs out and put them in ice water and do that for five minutes. So it's five minutes of the pressure cooking on the egg setting or the steam setting and then let it sit for five minutes, then release the pressure, put it in ice water for five minutes and then the, the um, peeling just comes right off. It's, it's like the stovetop method that I was doing before. And um, I ate a couple of the eggs after I cooked them today and the egg yolk was not overdone, which it was the last couple times that I did this. So I think this method is a good method um, for the eggs. The other thing that I've found as I've been researching this is that sometimes the altitude that you're at can affect that where you may have to do less minutes or more minutes for the pressure. So if you try this method and it doesn't work for you, they're over, overcooked or undercooked, then um, you may need to adjust the time a little bit. But this worked perfectly today. The eggs turned out great. And um, 
once I make them, what I do is put them in a little baggie of two. This is considered one protein serving. So I put them in this little baggie of two and then it's something that me and the kids and Dustin can easily grab um, throughout the week. And usually I make enough to last us like four days. Um, I don't think I want them sitting in the fridge for much longer than that, but that works as a good, quick protein. Um, I just put salt and pepper on it to, for my personal preference, and then it's good to go, a good um, option for your protein. So don't let me know if y'all have any questions. Hey, Melissa. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to y'all soon. Comment down below and let me know that you've watched, and I'd love to hear your tips on the Instant Pot if you have one. All right, y'all have a great one.